Hi, this is Manan Shalvi. In this episode, I'll show you how to create this split video transition in LumaFusion. This transition separates the subject in the video from the background and introduces them separately. Notice that the videos are playing during the transition and are not still images. The transition is 100% done in LumaFusion, all in one render and without using Affinity Photo or any other app. Before we get started, if you like my LumaFusion tutorials, please like this video, leave a comment, suggest ideas and consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Now, let's get to the tutorial. We start in LumaFusion with a project containing two video clips so we can create the transition from the first one to the second one. For this tutorial, I'm using a 30 frames per second project. Keep that in mind when I advance frames during the video. Let's take a look at the two video clips in the project. This is the first one. There is only one requirement for this clip. It should be at least four to five seconds long, so it can accommodate the transition. This is the second video clip. It should also be a couple of seconds long, and for the same reason as the first one. The separation between background and subject is done in this video using chroma key. The footage that you choose to use for this clip should have a background with a close to uniform color so it can be removed using chroma key. The color uniformity is needed only for the duration of the transition, which will be two seconds at the beginning of the clip. Place the playhead at the beginning of the second clip. Move two seconds forward. This will be 60 frames on a 30 frames per second project. Make a cut. Edit the two seconds clip you've just cut. Let's start by isolating the subject in the clip. In this case, the boat. Tap on the Colors and Effects tab, if not already selected, and select the Chroma Key section. Select the Chroma Key preset that most closely resembles the color of your background. In this case, the green color in the green screen key is the closest to the color of the water. You may find that the color of the Chroma Key preset that you selected is not close enough to the color of the background that you want to key out. If that's the case, disable the chroma key effect as shown. Use the color picker to sample the background color close to the subject on the video. And enable the chroma key effect again. Adjust the chroma key settings as needed so you get a good isolation of the subject. Scroll through the clip to make sure that the chroma key settings work for the whole two seconds duration of the clip. The transition is fairly quick, so isolate the subject the best you can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, exit back to the timeline. Tap on the two seconds clip, if it's not already selected, and clone it. Move the video you just cloned to the main track, just to the right of its original. Double tap to edit. Tap on the Colors and Effects tab, if not already selected. Expand on the Chroma Key effect, and tap on the Reverse key. As you can see, the Chroma Key effect now shows the background and removes the subject. Exit back to the timeline. The two clips you just edited complement each other. Placing the first one containing the isolated subject on top of the second one containing the isolated background produces a full image. We'll use that fact to our advantage in a moment. For the next part of the tutorial, you'll be leveraging the stock transitions bit in LumaFusion to create animations that transition the subject and background in your video separately. With that said, stay tuned to later in the tutorial because I'll show you four additional transition animation methods that provide very different results. For this tutorial, you'll want LumaFusion's transitions to be 20 frames in duration that is two-thirds of a second on a 30 frames per second project. So let's set the default transition duration for this project to 20 frames. To do so, 
tap on the settings icon in the main screen. Under clip defaults, find the transition slider and set it to 0.20. Exit back to the timeline and let's start creating the video split transition. Drag the two seconds clip containing the isolated subject to just above the first clip in the timeline, so the end of both clips is perfectly aligned. Now, drag the second clip containing the isolated background just above the clip containing the isolated subject and make sure they are perfectly aligned as well. With the clip containing the isolated background still selected, place the playhead at the beginning of the clip. Advance exactly 20 frames. And make a cut. Delete the 20 frames clip that was created to the left of the playhead. This is how it looks now. Now let's animate the transitions. Select the transitions menu if not already selected and drag the slide right transition to the beginning of the clip containing the isolated subject. As you can see, with the transition being 20 frames in duration, it ends exactly where the clip with the isolated background starts. Now, drag the wipe left transition to the beginning of the clip containing the isolated background. This means that the transition of the background will start immediately after the transition of the subject ends. Let's see how it looks now. The transition takes 40 frames to run. The remaining 20 frames show the full content, subject and background, because, as explained earlier, the two clips complement each other. The purpose of those extra 20 frames is to provide some flexibility for the duration of the transitions, if required. The clip then continues playing seamlessly in the main track. Aside of LumaFusion stock transitions, you can use other methods to animate split video transitions. For example, you can keyframe the progress of cropping the background, like I did here. You can animate the progress of the chroma key effect itself, starting from the subject being fully isolated and then ending on both subject and background being visible. Alternatively, you can use motion presets. Here I'm using the zoom in spin motion preset that I covered in a previous tutorial to reveal the subject. Download link for the motion preset will be in the description of this video. Lastly, you can use a built-in effect that distorts the image, starting with a setting where the background is outside of the viewing area, and within 20 frames, it becomes progressively visible as the effect is reduced using keyframes. Here is an example using the twist effect for the background. You can use this method for additional effects. For example, transition the subject and background in your video from black and white to color independently. You can color correct and adjust subject and background separately. Or completely replace the background. If you follow my channel, you may have realized by now that the method used in this video is very similar to the one I used for the text behind subject tutorial using chroma key. If you haven't watched that tutorial, the link will be in the description of this video. 
So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.